Kia ora, everybody. Um, I'm just going to explain the health and literacy task for this week. We're going to continue with static images, but this week we're going to focus on the taha whānau part of our te whare tapa whā model. And it's, it's fitting that I've got one of my um, whānau here um, to talk about it, but also just because he was throwing a little tantrum just before. So um, on here, we can see that the taha whānau is all about who makes you feel like you belong, um, who you care about, and who you share life with. So Fano is all about extended relationships. It's not just about those of, those that are in your like close family. It's about all your friends and family and how all of us have a part to play in, in helping our overall well-being. And we know that just by um, you know being in touch with people and talking to people and connecting with people, that helps you with your well-being lots as well. So it's a really important part of our overall well-being. So this week we're going to create a static image, but you're going to focus on colour like we did last week, but you're also going to focus on composition. So what's composition? Composition organises the forms, shapes and colours and any words into a balanced design. So it's all about where you're placing the different parts of your image. So you can see here in this graffiti of Gollum in Lord of the Rings, he's holding a toilet paper and it's at the very front of the image and then his whole body is around the back with, it says up there in, I believe it's German, it says my precious. So that's kind of talking about how everyone went a bit crazy on toilet paper um, at the beginning of the COVID-19 stuff. Um, so composition is all about your deliberate choices on where you place things in your static image. So how you're going to complete this this week is first you're going to create a plan in your book. Then you're going to draw your draft image. Then you're going to label your draft image and explain how you're using color and how you're using composition to communicate your family and social well-being. Then you're going to get it checked by a learning coach and then only then will you publish onto a separate piece of paper or onto Google Slides. I want to show you Molly's one from last week. So this was Molly's, and you can see in her book, she's included her brainstorm up the top right here. She has included a draft static image piece right in the middle there. And then down the bottom, she's talked about color and how she has used color to um, demonstrate the feelings she wants to convey. So all of this is about her own personal well-being. Right, I'm going to show you a video next of my um, draft aesthetic image that I've done um, for my Tahafano one. So check that out next. So here is my draft for my aesthetic image. You can see here I've got my brainstorm and I've written Fano and social well-being in the middle and I've just brainstormed everything about my Fano and my friends. So I've got like Naomi, Joey and Jethro here, my friends and different parts of the things that make up um, the people that help me with my well-being. And I've written things like, you know, my friends sometimes when I talk to them about my problems, makes them seem smaller. Um, having, catching up with people just brings connection and fun, lots of laughter, doing cool things together and that all contributes towards my over, overall well-being. And down here, I've done a draft image, just a quick sketch, it's not perfect as you can see, of the static image that I'm going to create. So, and then I've written lots of notes here and labeled them to the different parts of my static image. So, you know, this week we're talking about color and composition. So over here I've talked about the colors. So I've got black and white to show that they're the most important thing. Here in the middle, I've got, I've talked about the color here, blue and green colorful earth to show that they're my world. That's Naomi, Jethro and Joey. Badly sketched at the start here. And then around the outside, different people in different color. And the color I've used around the outside is to show like vibrancy and life that my friends and family, um, you know, my extended friends and family bring to me. Um, and they kind of operate around the most important people in my life. Um, but you can also see, I've not only talked about color, I've also talked about composition. So where things are placed. So I've said over here, if you can see here, center of page i've put these people in the center i've put naomi jethro and joey in the center of the page in the middle of the earth on purpose to show that they are the most important and then around the outside i've put my other friends and family here um, which are still important but they kind of surround um the, you know the most important so i've talked in my draft plan here about color and i've talked about composition 
And so once I've done a draft and I've completed um, my draft static image, I'm now going to go away and publish it either on Google Doc, uh, Google Slides or on uh, just another separate piece of paper. But the important thing to note is that I have all of these different parts that I've thought about. I've thought about color, I've thought about composition, and I've explained how I've used those to demonstrate my own um, taha whanau, my own family whanau social well-being.